Hey, this is Steve. I'm showing this uh, Guild Madeira A30R. And uh, this is the more rare one with the rosewood back. This is really a nice guitar. I'm actually going to miss it. I just love the way that wood looks in the back. That's just beautiful. That's old wood, folks. And uh, this is really a nice sounding guitar. And I really like it a lot. But uh, I mostly play acoustic guitars in Dadgad. And that's what I have this in right now. Is is uh, I have it, have it in Dadgad. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's a really nice, really nice guitar. And uh, let me just do a short, kind of a short, uh, you know, demo of it here. I'm just using the Zoom, you know, two hundred dollars Zoom. I just put some new strings on so they're stretching. So I'll probably keep this demo short because of the new strings. I don't want to keep wrestling with it. But you can hear it's got that kind of Ibanez, you know, early 70s made in Japan sound. And uh, I really like this guitar a lot. Like I said, the wood is just, it's got, you know, it's got a few dings on it. I see one down here. Overall, it looks pretty damn good though. Um, this is like, it looks like a knot in the wood. But yeah, I just love, I love the back. This is made in Japan. I see a little ding there, but like that, I just love, I love the look of the old, older rosewood. Keep in mind too, there's less pollutants in the water in the air back then too. But yeah, this guitar really has a sound. I love the age binding. It's got a little discoloration of the binding, which is normal with older guitars, but you know, this is a lot of guitar for the money. You, you can't get this kind of a sound out of a newer guitar, so. Really. And yeah, the Madeira is made uh, by Guild, kind of like you know, the Epiphone of Gibson. But then I've read some places on the net that they said some of these were made very, very close to the, the Guild spec. So yeah, it's, an, it's a really nice guitar. It's beautiful too. I love the look of it. And uh, really nice wood. It's got that nice zingy look, you know. Even just moving the guitar in my hand I can hear it start to hum, but like I barely tap it, it starts to hum. Yeah, it's not overbuilt. Really nice. All right, folks, take care.